Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say, if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want a video of your own, make sure to commission me either when I'm live on YouTube or you can DM me through my public Discord server. Anyway, let me not take up your time. Enjoy the video. Hey, uh, can I come in? Hi! I know you weren't really expecting me, but here I am. <laughs> I just came by the hotel to see how Charlie was and also to check up on you. So, uh, how you been? Oh, really? That's good. I, I love to hear that. I'm glad that you, uh, you know, finding your place here at the uh, hotel and whatnot. Also, I uh, wanted to come by not just because of Charlie. I also come by to uh, check up on you and what happened at the uh, meeting. So, what happened? What? You... What do you mean you said no? What do you mean you said you didn't want to go back? What? <laughs> what do you... What? What do you mean? You're not... You're not supposed to be here. You remember that? You like it here? I have never heard that in my life that someone actually likes it down here. What do you mean you like it in hell? I don't even like it here. <laughs> you aren't supposed to be be here in the first place. Why did you say no to going back to Earth? That was the whole thing. We were supposed to send you back because you're not dead. Why? Why did you say no? I... Uh, this isn't what we were supposed to be doing. We had this whole thing planned out. This whole thing. You coming down here. Big mistake. All just suddenly happened. It was never meant to be like this. Only sinners who have died are supposed to be down here. And you're alive. You're just a human, innocent. You're not supposed to be with the damned. Ugh. Why? Why did you do this? No, oh, my. I don't want... There's so many things I could say to you right now. I just can't bring myself to say it to you. You were supposed to go back once you got up to heaven. And they were supposed to send you home. That was the deal. And you're still here. Look, I understand that you love it here. That you love everybody here. You're becoming great friends with my daughter. Her girlfriend. Husk. 
Angel, that f- fucking Alistair, everybody, even me. But you aren't supposed to be here. Not yet, at least. And I don't know what to do now. Getting that meeting was just hard enough. <laughs> I understand. You, you want to help my daughter. You want to help my daughter with the hotel. I get it. There's lots of people here that are confused about you being here. Hell, I was confused once you popped into my own house. It's all a freak mistake that shouldn't have happened in the first place. (sighs) Look, since now you're stuck down here for I don't even know how long, I guess... We have to do something, right? Here. I kept this in my daughter's room. I will... Hang on, let me text her real quick. Charlie, I'm going to your room to get something for Hell's Wanderer. All right. Just here, follow me, follow me. Since you don't really have any power down here, or really any, like, thing to help you if you do get in trouble, besides, like, you know, the people that you've hung out with, they're not always going to be around you. So, here's my solution for that. A long time ago, when I was an angel, I gave in the temptations of these females, the human females. And, well, that was a sin. And my father damned me to hell. But, the one thing that he didn't take away from me is these fruits. More specifically, apples. And I left one in my daughter's... I left it in Charlie's room. I left one in there. Just in case, for some reason, that she lost her power. These apples were grown by me. I infused them with my own magic power. My own angelic power. And my newfound demonic power. Infused both of them together to make these seeds, these apple seeds. And, well, I made an apple tree. And this apple tree grows these magical fruit that contain my power. Where, where is it? In, it's in here. I want you... To eat this apple. No, you won't be as powerful as me. Take it like a uh, a boost of some sort. It will make you strong enough to handle other demons out here that are trying to, you know, fuck with you. And. With this apple, you're going to have these strange powers happen. I don't know if you're going to be able to control them at first, but... It's better to be protected than not protected. So, yeah. Here. You don't have to eat it right now. I'm not forcing you. But eventually, take a bite of it. And you'll feel this, like, surge of power run through your body. 
you'll have angelic and demonic powers. So when the more stronger demons come look for you, they won't sense that you're a human. They'll think you're dead and a demon. So, this is how I'm going to protect you. As long as my apples are growing, you will have protection. All right. Whew. Now that we got that out of the way, how have you been? Are you feeling okay? Nausea, sickness, going insane, all, all sorts of stuff. You been burnt anywhere? No? Okay, good. Oh my. You know, it's. This is a lot harder than raising my own daughter. Trying to protect you from other people, other demons. Oh. Yeah, about, oh uh, yeah, the whole deal thing. Look, I basically just gave you some of my power. It's not a lot, but it will help you. And I've already told you, I don't want to make a deal with you, because I would own you. You would be owned by Lucifer. You know, the king of hell. I've told you this already. A deal that doesn't involve your soul. Hmm. You know, I... Why didn't I think of that? Huh. Well... Hmm. Um, alright. I... I don't know why I never thought of that. It would have been a better option than keeping you as my own, like, you know, soul thing going around. How about this? Here is a whistle, all right? And with this whistle and a handshake that we're going to do to bind this contract, and once we do, this whistle will summon me any time that you blow into it. Either you're in trouble, or you just need someone to hang out with. This whistle will be infinitely used to summon me. Alright? So, we have a deal. All right. <sighs> I haven't had a contract deal made in so many years. I was just so scared that I might, you know, fuck it up in some way. But luckily, I don't own your soul, and you have protection now. <laughs> All right. Whew, my. I'm going to get wrinkles because of this. All right. So, you have a good day. I am going to go back to my daughter because we were in the middle of a conversation and I just remembered that you were here. All right. Have a good day. And remember, eat the apple.